Here are some new Apple Arcade games from January and some from December 2021. We don't get many sports games on Apple Arcade, so when one appears I can't help but be excited. Just like every other game on the service, its art style is playful, colourful and stylized. Much of this is because it's based off iconic Nickelodeon children's shows. That doesn't mean this one is just for kids. Everyone can enjoy it. On offer is a story mode, daily quests, and online multiplayer between other Apple devices. Multiplayer is the most fun, as the AI here is not great. You'll complete in locations you know and love, and the initial character lineup is strong. What's missing here though is split screen multiplayer, which would have been super fun on Apple TV or Mac. And the game is locked to portrait mode on iPhone and iPad. Some of us prefer to play in landscape mode, especially with a controller. I imagine this might have been an oversight and they could fix it very quickly though. Here's your order. <laughs> Dandara has come to Apple Arcade for iPhone, iPad, and Apple TV. I have no idea why it isn't on Mac, considering there was already a Mac version available. Anyway, if you can get it on another Apple platform, go for it. This is a great 2D Metroidvania adventure hunt game with a 6.5 main story or 9 to 12 hours for completionists. The game's controls have been optimized well for the touchscreen and even the Apple TV Wii remote. The movement and aiming will take you a while to get used to as you are affected differently by gravity here. Even if you decide to play with the controller, it's still a learning curve. But once you get the hang of it, you'll be moving fast through the world, dodging like a pro and making some cool shots at foes and bosses. I also like that it has iCloud backup with the original paid version. Disney Melee Mania marks the first MOBA on Apple Arcade. Included is 5 minute 3v3 matches, 12 champions, events, customizers for your characters, multiplayer parties and different modes. It's made by Mighty Bear Games, the people behind Butter Royale. For me, this one isn't as polished with a few bugs right now, performance issues, and quite a bit of lag during multiplayer matches. I think where it shines, unlike other MOBAs on mobile, is having controller support. And I know it's trivial, but seeing other characters from different Disney shows and movies going against each other, you can't help but chuckle at the sight. The character lineup is definitely very small right now, but it's been confirmed more will come soon. What no one else seems to mention too is that it has ProMotion or 120 FPS support on iPad Pro and iPhone 13 Pro. League of Legends has this too, but only on iPad Pro right now. Now Crashlands is available on Apple Arcade for iPhone and iPad. Fight and tame alien beasts, craft resources into menacing weaponry, befriend the outlandish locals, and go toe to chin with a world domineering maniac. I think my favorite part of this game that most don't know about is that it has two player couch co-op. Player two controls the character Juicebox. This means you can both enjoy the 30 hour main story together, or over 60 hours for completionists. I've linked a tutorial in the description on how couch co-op works. It's for the Steam version, but it's all the same here. It's a massive shame the original game, or this new one, was never ported to Apple TV or Mac, and sadly, the cloud saves with the original App Store paid version are not supported or currently not working which is a shame. The Timeless Classics category finally have two new classic games, card games. The first to look at is Spades. Mobility Wear are the king of card games on iPhone and iPad, and now on Apple Arcade too. 
This arcade version has new content as well. New looks, new goals to reach, and better tutorials. Spades focuses more on strategy and puzzles compared to the classic card games. Players will plan and strategize each move as they compete with a partner to try and outbid and outplay them. Win the most books and be the first to 250 points to win. The next card game to look at is Hearts by Mobility Wear again. I honestly have no idea how to play these card games, so I'm quoting the App Store description. Hearts on Apple Arcade is a classic competitive card game, and Mobility Wear's artificial intelligence ensures players have the competitive edge. The game will teach players how to play with an intuitive AI. The artificial intelligence adapts to the player's Hearts card game playstyle. Play feels fair even though your opponents are smart bots. But while playing them can feel like a challenge, Hearts Hints AI feature is at your disposal and is the smartest of them all. The main benefit of getting Odmar on Arcade compared to the paid version is that it now has keyboard support on iPad, and it's a universal app between iPhone, iPad, Apple TV, and Mac. Previously, the Mac App Store version was a separate app, and it was much more expensive. Anyway, if you're interested in the game on Arcade, it's one of the most polished arcade platformers you'll come by, telling an epic Viking story animated as a motion comic. It all runs at 60 FPS or 120 FPS on iPad Pro. The platforming and combat gameplay are fantastic, and it's a good time from start to finish. I do suggest playing with a controller though for the best experience. I also like that it has iCloud backup with the original paid version. I don't think there are any hidden object games on Arcade, so even though this is kind of old, it's a great addition. In fact, this was the game of the year in 2017 on the App Store. Basically, in this black and white world, you search for hidden folks across different landscapes. There are 32 areas and 300 plus targets to find. It's a casual game, sure, but it takes a long, long time to see it through. Don't forget there are different color modes for normal, sepia, and night mode, and iMessage stickers are supported too, which is cool. I remember loving all the unique interactions and sound effects when searching for targets, and it's been fun experiencing all that again. I'm also thankful that this one is on every Apple platform too. Our last game to look at is Splitter Critters for iPhone and iPad. It was an Apple Design Award winner for 2017 and iPhone Game of the Year for 2017 too. All you do here is split the world with a swipe of your finger and then rearrange it to guide these critters back to their spaceship. That is the basic premise here. It's a simple gameplay formula, but it does involve more challenging puzzles later in the game. But it never becomes incredibly difficult to the point of rage. Some may enjoy that, and some won't. It's made up with cool and innovative mechanics that make you think up different solutions for each puzzle. Sometimes the game reminds me of Portal with augmented reality. That isn't a bad thing though. Here is a preview of games launching on Apple Arcade this February. Wild Flowers is a magical farming simulation game. It looks to be inspired by other classics in the genre, but mixes in magical powers to change up the gameplay formula. Players will follow Tara as she arrives at a cozy rural island to help out her grandmother and the family farm. It is releasing on the 18th of February. Gibbon Beyond the Trees is an environmental adventure. You will experience free-flowing dynamic movement based on brachiation, the way 
real gibbons swing through the trees. This one is behind Broken Rules, the Apple Design Award winning developers of Old Man's Journey and the Lower. It is releasing on the 25th of February. Bridge Constructor is a classic simulation game where you have to prove yourself as an accomplished master bridge builder. All the paid bonus content will be included with this version. It will also be available on iPhone, iPad, and Mac. Bridge Constructor is releasing on the 4th of February. Bloons TD6 is the mega popular tower defense game. You will build up your defenses using a combination of monkey towers, upgrades, heroes, and numerous abilities, all with the goal of popping ever invading balloons. Note, this will only be available for iPhone and iPad. It is releasing on the 11th of February. What do you think of these new Apple Arcade games from December and January and the upcoming games too? December to January wasn't the best time for Arcade in terms of new original releases. I mean, only two completely new games released, which was disappointing for me. Thankfully, Apple look to be previewing upcoming games now at the start of each month, but I would love to see more original games. Anyway, leave a like if this video was helpful to stay up to date with Apple Arcade and subscribe and turn on notifications to be informed when Apple unveil even more games to the service. My name's Stewie and thanks for watching.